We've reached the end. We've washed off the final canvas. The skin war is over. I'm Candy Johnson. This is The Naked Truth. Welcome back to the Skin Wars After Show, where tonight was the final battle, and the first skin warrior emerged victorious. Emotions ran rampant as our artist neared the $100,000 grand prize. But first, let's take a step back and appreciate the final episode. I'm in the top three. Super, super happy to be here. That's bananas! I never would have imagined that I would make it all the way to the end of this competition. Did any of you think on day one that it would be the three of you standing here? Yes. Oh. The first challenge for the remaining three contestants was they had to make their model look like she was coming out of a static background. Dutch won with his technique and his use of high contrast color. He made his model look like she was actually coming off of the background. There was ripples of water on her legs, and that gave him the win. This is not a good time for Dutch to gain momentum because the one thing that Shannon and I have on top of Dutch is our creativity. And if Dutch gains that on top of his technique, we're screwed. Shannon changed her entire project halfway through her time. Now this can either go really right or really wrong. I've worked on projects where I've been so thankful I changed the entire direction and other ones where I wish I would have committed and just stuck through. What do you guys think? Is it better to stick it out or start over. I'm gonna do a painted painter painting a painting. Stupid mistake. Shannon really painted her butt off. For the final concept challenge, the contestants were given two models to do whatever they want on each of their bodies. This is the first time where they had limitless opportunity and options to create whatever they want. You have to dig really deep in your creativity to make it pretty amazing sometimes. This is the last challenge. This is the finale. Nothing can bring me down right now. It was an emotional moment when there was a big surprise because the family and loved ones of the remaining contestants were brought on to witness the final challenge. Dutch got to see his kids, Shannon got to see her mom, Natalie got to see her boyfriend. It is hard to say goodbye, but I tell my mom that I'm gonna win it for her. I think yeah, having you guys here is really gonna help me tomorrow. Shannon and Dutch fought really hard, but in the end, there could only be one skin warrior. We're here. It's time we're down to the last stroke. The answer you've been waiting for is painted on these models' backs. Natalie's imagination, creativity, and hard work really convinced the judges that she was worthy of the win. I just won the first art competition I've ever won. Oh my god, thank you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Our Skin Wars champion is here, but don't worry, I've got plenty of tissues. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our day wouldn't be complete without some Natalie tears. Natalie, you won! You won $100,000, your own signature makeup line. You're gonna be flown to IMATS to be the guest artist from Mehran. How excited are you? It is um, freaking mind blowing. Freaking mind blowing. It still isn't even real to me. I have so many things I want to ask you. In several challenges leading up to the finale, you were in the bottom. How confident were you going into the final challenge? Not confident at all, but still excited. You know, like I think that the fact that I was really stoked really helped. You know, I was like, I never thought I would make it into the bottom three. So I was just so proud of myself that I did make it into the bottom three that I think that that helps me. Dutch had like no problem telling everybody that he was gonna win. Does that make your victory a little extra sweet? It sure does. <laughs> I mean, I love Dutch. I super love Dutch. I really do. Um, and especially towards the end, he kind of like opened up and like his hard ass kind of softened. But, uh, but yeah, it did feel good. It's not easy for me, uh, given my personality, to open up. Um, I came in here all cocksure and headstrong, thinking that I was gonna just dominate, and and it hasn't been the case. Appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Was it awkward when Gear refused to paint against you? Yeah, it was awkward, but I didn't even notice it because I was just painting. You know, I was like painting my butt off, and I went there to win, and I did. You know, and so uh, if other people didn't have that in mind, you know, that's not. That's not on me, I don't think, right?
Now, in one part, it looked like you got a little friendly with one of the male models. Was that totally awkward to watch with your boyfriend? Give me that flex. Yeah. It's yummy looking. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep getting all, like, silly. Calm down, Natalie. Calm down. That male model was really cool. You know, he did have, like, a phenomenal body. But I love my boyfriend. And my boyfriend's modeled for me, like, 700,000 times. Tell me about your relationship with Gear. If you were single, do you think you guys maybe could have a romance somehow if you were totally not with a boyfriend? I've been in my relationship for like five years. Gear's been in with his lady for a really long time too. So the hypothetical like if we were single thing um, doesn't really work for us. But I will say that we're both Scorpios and we both got along really well. It never got romantic, even if it looks like that on camera. It didn't get romantic. It was just a friendship, you know, like a really close, uh, unique type of friendship. Gear is probably my best friend in the house. We both just kind of like get each other. Do you think you've made your mark on the body painting world? I really freaking hope so. You know, like um, before this show, it was like, who the is Natalie Fletcher and now you know people are gonna know who Natalie Fletcher is and that she is not someone to forget about. What are you gonna do with the money? A hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna do a project. I want to do a huge body painting project that involves as many people in the world as possible and um, I'm just gonna travel all across the country. I'm so excited for you Natalie. I cannot wait to see what you're gonna do next. You are a totally awesome person and I'm so happy that you won. We just got naked, and that's the truth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the first season of the Game Show Network Skin Wars as much as I have. If you missed an episode, be sure to check your local listings for more info. Who was your favorite contestant? Comment below and make sure you check the official Door 3 Twitter page to see if you won. One lucky winner will receive a small compressor, airbrush, and paint from European Body Art. I'm Candy Johnson. Until we paint again. Natalie won with her beautiful landscape, which transitioned into a volcano. I really gotta hand it to Natalie on this one. She did an incredible job.